Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut 11. This is Kathy speaking. I hope you're all doing well on this Wednesday, the 3rd of July of 2024. Divine Debut 11 is this channel. Our other channel is Divine Debut 12, DD12 nevertheless, where we answer your own personal questions, the questions you need answered. We take at the most 20 minutes tarot reading um, and uh, we don't use astrology there. Here we do reference astrology. So if you're interested in connecting with us there, we don't, we don't upload there very often, but the more traction the channel gets, the more we will be working and adding more free videos there. There are no ads there either. So if you're interested in commenting and getting your question answered, you can comment it beneath here and you can also get the link so you can join us there, subscribe and uh, make sure you're notified when we do upload there. Thank you so much, everyone. So happy to be here with you. Early July, early July. OK, this video is premiering, so we're also in the chat. First of all, I asked all of you yesterday on the messenger is here if you wanted if you preferred the handwritten love messages that we take more than more often or a greek little love oracle card now the biggest uh, not many of you um mentioned what you preferred so most most of the comments weighed towards the Greek little oracle. So more than likely, which for me, this Greek oracle, um, it's not something that is easy for me to uh, answer you back with um, on, you know, under the comments. So we may be doing that you ask for it with the love heart that we've done recently where we're going through your going through your comments and taking the card live so that you could see it so since most i mean they were double uh we had double the people asking for the greek oracle than the little handwritten love messages so that wins so if you're commenting yes please beneath it is for a greek oracle okay which we'll be doing a video on so that's what's happening today let's look at this important love connection this divine union the person that you are thinking of dreaming of fantasizing about wondering about let's see what's going on energetically remember this is a general reading it is general. It is general. Please take the messages that resonate. Do not try to fit this reading into your own personal situation, but most of all, trust your intuition above everything else. Don't even trust what I'm telling you. Please. Now, today we're using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. That's what this deck is. Here it is for your reference, just in case you're wondering. Beautiful deck. And we're also taking the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards, as well as the Mystic Moon, Mystic Moon Oracles that we take every time. And the Angel Answers. So you may start us thinking about what you're going to ask Spirit. Let's see what the Karma Dharma is relative to the uh, two matters of heart this is the psychic tarot of the heart that I'm using here and it's only the major arcana I'd also like to mention um, that if you're on patreon um, you can get a discount on a personal reading all right so tier one gets 10% off all our services on our website tier two gets 15% and tier 3 gets they get the 20% off 
and there's so much more that's offered check us out check us out and become a free member check out and see what's on patreon if if you're interested of course and i just want to say we're coming we're in the month of july now which uh, august is the hottest month right it's holiday month so i'm hoping to take off some time so therefore i don't know i will announce when that will be where you cannot get personal readings so if you're interested start getting organized i think july is going to be the cutoff maybe take august off but i'll be back with more and let you know twin flame soulmate possibly karmic connections this is what we're trying to tune in and gather information and advice from spirit what is the advice what is going on in this divine union please spirit where is it and we've got manifest and we've got the magician Gemini and Virgo come through very strongly the magician can also be trickery so do remember that we're not taking um, reversals right where the uh, major arcana cards are nevertheless it is an ace it is an ace and this does speak to uh, short distance travel uh, possibly collaboration with someone the communication the perception how it flows between you and another this can also say that the stars are aligning for the magic for the magic to to happen because it is an ace this is the magician it's like asking for a wish and the wish coming true right it's like a genie that's how i see the magician but on the other hand it's also trickery sneakiness theft uh, manipulation nevertheless manifest it speaks to so we'll see what the reading what else comes through with the reading um remember the magician is also logic because mercury mercury rules the magician and mercury has just stepped into leo leo is the house of fun it's the house of flirtation risk-taking romance sex mercury which is youthful which is curious which is about the details wants to explore wants to have fun wants to be courageous mercury in leo takes on the archetype of leo wants to lead wants to flirt wants to have a good time wants to travel to places that make that make us feel good wants to play like the child and discover wants to listen to words that come from the heart or speak words that come from the heart but mercury is in opposition to pluto and opposition is always difficult it's like a tug of war as i always say but mercury in an opposition with pluto could say that we may hear of something that was hidden there could be details that are disclosed at this time mm, it's all about creating it's all about inspiration and um, and desires right now either to lead either to detach either to trust the heart or either trust the heart or go with the mind go with the bigger picture my beautiful friends venus and the sun are in cancer sensitive homely wow 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 i love that i love that for us okay this speaks to success but it can also speak to ego recognition succeeding um pulling it off after having put in a lot of work struggled but this can also speak to pride and vanity of succeeding in winning someone's heart or you're dealing with someone who holds strong leo yes you may also connect with them through work but this is someone that's very successful and recognized well known in their community okay we're coming into retrograde season everyone 
Neptune in Pisces, Saturn in Pisces are retrograde. Wow. Okay, we're going back to the past. We're going back to the past. And speaking of Mercury in Leo, once he gets to that 21st degree, he's going to uh, enter his shadow phase. So Mercury is going to retrograde in August. I'm going to tell you, May Day, May Day. First of all, before I forget, speaking of May Day, I don't know why I've connected it with knock on wood, July 4th. Yeah, this is this is a wooden table. <laughs> okay, knock on wood. Um, happy July 4th, which is tomorrow. I forgot. I'm sorry. In the opening, happy July 4th. Why I was saying, and I hope your celebrations go well and that everything is dandy and fine and safe for all of you in the US and wherever else. Uh, I don't know if Canada celebrates June, uh, July 4th. Um, I don't think so, but let me know in the comments. The more, when you ask and you're curious, you learn. So thank you very much. But I was saying that July is an okay month. It's not too bad, astrologically speaking, my friends. August is going to be a real bummer. If you're wanting to go on holiday, do so in July. But also be very, very careful around before the 15th and after the 15th, give or take a few days of July. It's very dangerous. I don't know what the weather will be like. We can have lots of drum rolls, lots of stress, lots of sudden tack, uh, sudden, I was going to say attacks. Uh, yes, literally or metaphorically, we can have attacks. There's going to be stress, there's going to be fires, there's going to be explosions, there's going to be eruptions, there's going to be um, anything to do with the banking system as well because this conjunction of Mars and Uranus is happening in Taurus. A special beware, be careful, more so to Taurus, but also to the fixed signs opposite is Scorpio, Aquarius and Leo. Those of you that are born around the midpoint or you've got personal planets, do take great care. Okay, August is going to be a very difficult month. Keep that in mind. And if you're interested in why, how, which days, so on and so forth, do join us on Patreon. We do the astrology there. We do analyze everything for the month. Let's see what's going on in this connection. What is going on? Forewarned is forearmed. Don't say I did not tell you. What is the challenge here? Because this is a possibility now of feeling successful. We've had good aspects. We've had very good aspects and they're still around in the month of July, but we've also got that Mars-Uranus conjunction, which is not the easiest of aspects, but it's opening up a two-year cycle and closing up a previous two-year cycle. What is the challenge here? Choices, physical distance, desire. Remember the ones that, to me, the ones are like matches. Uh, the fire, right? The fire, the desire, the inspiration, whatever. Um, look, it even looks like um, they're coming into a meeting, doesn't it? And that's not easy. Uh, because of physical distance, maybe because of a little bit of ego, maybe because of business and work obligations. Mm, maybe because someone is focusing more on work. So the energy, the... Um, yeah, the investment is more towards succeeding and um, relative to someone's vocation. But also the challenge could also be that there are choices because the two of wands, which is like a portal, yes, it also speaks to choices. Twos speak to balance, but they also speak to separation. That is uh, eight wands.
maybe possible choices need to be made. Uh, I would say don't be too over optimistic because this feels I'm successful, I made it, I'm gonna, we're gonna meet up or we're gonna reconcile or whatever. Yes, we can have fluctuations, good news, then disappointments. Great news, then a drawback. So the challenge is balance or the challenge is choice. And the challenge is also flight, taking a flight because there's eight wands here. Now, wands usually go to hit their fire, their action taken. Wands need to hit their target. That is a bit of a challenge. It's like missing the point. It's like fluctuations in, in the energies, in the desires. There are ups and downs I'm getting here. Let's see where you're coming from. Page of Swords. Recent past. Ace of Cups. So this does tie in with an opportunity or feeling quite successful relative to some communication. Page of Swords is Gemini. Gemini is the twins. Um, and the twins, of course, are curious. They ask questions. Um, I don't know if your questions have been answered. Obviously, now, the Page of Swords could also be someone that's checking another person's social media out. Or someone's asking questions because they want to learn things, find things out. Now, recently and in the past, yes, we've got the Ace of Cups, which is an opportune moment, an emotional, happy moment. The, this is the Hand of Spirit. Um, this is a beginning, a potential beginning. Let's continue and see. See, this is like something's been offered, communicated, which brought happiness, a possible feeling of success, and then the Four of Pentacles is, but I don't know. But I don't know if I can trust, but I don't know if I can, if I will be, uh, if I feel secure about this. I'm sort of holding back on information. I'm protecting my heart. There are things about my home or my money or relative to stability and love that I'm holding back on. This is the miser card. This is uh, insec insecurities where self-worth is concerned. Maybe someone's having second thoughts, I'm not good enough. Because they obviously see, and I don't know if it's you or your person, they do admire someone here, very much so. Hmm. Near future, what does it bring? Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, which is, as I say, is very similar to the Empress. Nine of Pentacles, I'm happy in my own in my own little world, in my comfort zone. That's what I'm getting here. Even though I admire you or I'm attractive to you, right? And I'm drawing you in. I'm still, I'm happy in my own little world. But, you know, this is a Virgo card and Virgo is all about the details. This is a Mercury card, obviously, since it... Uh, speaks to Virgo and um, maybe there's something to do with independence remember what's missing in her world she's got everything she needs she's got her comforts her creature comforts she has them all this could also be because here we've got someone that's got their creature comforts nine of pentacles and here we've got someone that is that is uh, the miser, they don't have enough, they don't have the security. That could also be a big, a big, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Drawback. Because someone's having second thoughts here. Even if we look at the cards here, the two cards, six of wands is I'm recognized, I've succeeded. So obviously one person, and yes, you could both have fire in your chart. You could both be very creative. So there's, there are similarities. But 
This person has already succeeded. The other person is still waiting on their ships to come in. They're still trying to, to, uh, to succeed. So there are differences in, um, in your status, in your, your position in society, your reputation and who you are. That's what I'm getting here. This is like something that does not fit. It's like trying to put on either your shoes are too big or they're too small. They don't fit. There's something that does not fit here. It's not that there isn't, you know, the opportunity here. And maybe someone's been waiting forever. Now, Earth comes through here as well. I don't know if someone's been waiting for the other person to be free, if there are third parties, if there are other obligations, situations where family, children, work are concerned. It will be different for each of you. This can speak to a little bit of pride as well, because, as I said, she's got all her creature comforts here. She's in the Garden of Eden, but she's in solitude. She's, she doesn't have someone to share her abundance with, her life with. It doesn't matter how much you acquire. There's, look, there's, there's, there are gaps and cracks within this person's life, but also within, within that person's life. Cheers, everyone. God, it's, it's not as hot today in Greece, but it's still hot. <laughs> it's still hot. And let's look at the position of you. Wow. There's the 10th pentacle, which I was looking at mentioning, and there it is. I did not mention it, but nevertheless, ace of pentacles, another ace, another ace. Ace of pentacles. I don't know if, what I'm getting here from you is that you've already offered this. Um, you've already offered this, or this is what you have um, either mentioned or um, hinted. This is what you want, whether you've offered this or you're hoping on this to be offered to you, because this is something long term. This is let's move in together. Let's try and see if if we can, you know, live together, if we can succeed together, if we can build a family, if we can join our um, join our families. Some of you already have got children. Some of you are already parents. So th this is either what you want or what you've offered, but this is also an opportunity that comes in for you. Okay. And remember, this could be heavy. It is earth. It speaks to practicality. It speaks to financial help as well. It speaks to um, a proposal. A proposal that's been made. And as I said, I don't know if it's for you or for them from you. Let's take the environment position there are the eight of wands which i mentioned earlier so some of you are foreigners now the eight of wands speaks to love messages speaks to flight travel this could also be i don't know who travels a lot even though we really haven't seen um anything like you know uh, the Sagittarian energy, which speaks to foreigners. But we do have wands here. Two of wands, three of wands. They do remind me of Sagittarian energy. Um, interesting that uh, Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius and foreigners, foreign lands, is in the sign of Gemini, which is the house of curiosity, choices, and the twins. So what I get from that is, intuitively speaking, I feel that from now until next May, twin flames, soulmates, have got big opportunities. It's like we're given, it's, it's like Jupiter gives us the, the wings, the wind, Jupiter is the wind under our wings, 
so that we could take flight where this relationship is, is concerned. Um, but decisions need to be made. Communication needs to be clear and concise. Um, yes, travel is on the cards. Jupiter being in Gemini, which is short distance travel. Some of you are need to travel by car. Others of you need to travel by plane. Now, yes, this could also be someone who travels for work. So we see the Eight of Wands, which means that they're sending out those wands. They're targeting or they're flying somewhere, something like that. We'll see with more cards. There is desire to connect. Uh, wands are more intimate, more sexual, right? We do have some cups here, some emotions, I should say. It's the Ace of Cups. We do have quite a few pentacles, fire, and a bit of air. Let's continue and see, because this is, yes, your environment, so it would speak mostly to uh, people around you. Now, because usually in this reading, we're, most of us, most of you, are here relative to s seek information on past, a past love connection that you're waiting on, wondering about, close the door on, whatever. Lesser of you are here for new love. We'll see what comes through though. In your hopes and fears, two of swords. Now it is the hopes and fears, but it's also what is on top of the Eight of Wands, which if, if this is your person's position, the person you're thinking of as we're doing this reading, they've got a dilemma, they've got choices, and they also fear uh, opening up their heart. So interesting that there's two very similar cards here. So I'm wondering if your person has not been holding back on uh, information, on, you know, they've been protecting their heart, maybe they've gone through some financial strains, financial loss or they're holding back on what's going on in their personal home life or even where their um, their financial security is concerned even where their emotions are concerned relative to how they feel about you okay so this is what's on their mind and this card speaks to I trust my intuition but there's hope or there's fear, hope that I can make the right decision, possibly from your person, not to say that it may not be your energy as well, because this is your reading. So all cards, cards have got many layers, just like the astrology. So if you know that you're the third person, maybe you're hoping that your person will choose you. This is what you're hoping. What you're fearing is that you will not be the chosen one, or that your person cannot detach probably from a past connection you know maybe even maybe someone's given an ultimatum here or sometimes ultimatums um, or even choices are made through silence and that is when you notice the retracting of the energy pertaining to your person so when they're taking back their their energy they're leaving you they they're letting you decide they're giving you space. That speaks volumes. So this could be for you or your person, the Two of Swords. Now, interesting that we see, and you could see it here. We've got the new moon in the background, and we've got a new moon on the 5th, on the 5th of this month, the 5th of July, which is a new moon in Cancer. My dear friends, new moon in Cancer. Cancer is the home of the moon. The moon rules Cancer. So new moons and new seeds, make sure that you um, set your intentions. Let spirit know exactly and precisely what you want. Set, send out those in, intentions to spirit. Uh, write something on a piece of paper. Uh, read it, uh, think about it, put that little paper under your pillow. Uh, what is it that you're hoping to manifest? Hopefully within a month or within six months, your wish could be granted. Now, 
it's a nest it's a it's a pretty good new moon i would say it's not a bad one and uh we're also coming up to a second consecutive blue moon blue moon because it's rare this second consecutive full moon is in capricorn and it's on the 21st roughly depending on where you are in the world and um it's going to be connecting with pluto so a lot we it's like we're moving into the fast lane very uh soon my friends even though the planets are turning backwards retrograding the illusion of turning backwards we're needing to revisit the past and spirit is obviously giving us an opportunity to an opportunity to go back retweak relook at redirect fix things that we left unfinished or even perfecting things things that we maybe looked over missed okay so okay what's the outcome i know you've been waiting too long for the outcome what is it dear spirit we've got the ten of cups which it's a double message for me the ten of cups as you know you know how i read the cards most of you are here all the time first of all there's a potential for bliss happiness and promise of a uh, long time happiness we've got the ace here and it happens quickly we've got the ten of cups in the same reading but but the ten of cups we know nine of cups is the wish fulfillment the ten cups mean a new beginning a new beginning it's like a cycle has ended something has completed obviously but it's already something has begun as well now of course the 10 of cups speaks to a lot of happiness but it also speaks to um an ending of a cycle an emotional cycle something has completed here and we've got another 9 here okay all right we will see with more cards all right ten of cups we i could just tell you easily that you know what oh my god you know you, you've got these offers you've got beginnings you've got a new emotional beginning it's going to stabilize blah 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 you need to know your self-worth okay you're completing ten of pentacles but we see this single person here we see someone that is alone even if they're in another marriage there's like a detach I don't know if this is you or if this is your person. But remember, a Virgo comes through very strongly. So if you know your person's placements, you know your own placements, then maybe this could help you understand who we're talking about here. Virgo and lots of earth, I'm going to say, all right? So but I'm not going to make it so easy because life isn't easy. We know that. and we're not all on the same timeline this is a potential for someone out there this is a potential for a few of you out there and yes we can some of us few of us can manifest our dream our dream life either that or there's been trickery and someone's getting out of an unhealthy commitment remember we're not reading reversals this could have been like this because of trickery okay this is a general reading in our personal readings we do take reversals okay what's at the bottom here and we've got temperance archangel michael thank you for your for your support here and i was saying before that we didn't have sagittarian energy well here it is and spirit is saying be calm cool collected patient an alchemy is going on things are going to change remember archangel michael is is um is preparing something for us these are the two cups right so there's there's an alchemy uh, things need to happen nothing happens from one moment to the other always remember that things always take time divine timing is at play and i was talking about a foreigner a foreign lands here is archangel michael which is 
This is Sagittarian energy, and Sagittarius is long distance. It's foreigners. It's people that believe other things. They come from different religions. They've, they come from different races. All right. Uh, wow. Okay. So someone needs to be patient. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a romantic offer. Uh, that's coming in, but someone needs to heal. Someone needs to wait for that divine timing. Even though, you know, Archangel Michael is the Archangel that is in the lover's card, which is blessing a particular union. I feel that that's already, we've already been that done, done that. So, because if you think about it, the lover's is a number six and temperance is a number 14. So this union has been blessed. But then think of, you know, after the lovers, we've got the chariot. Then we've got the strength card. Then we've got the hermit. Someone goes into their cave to seeking the light. After the hermit comes the wheel of fate. Big fate of changes, endings and new beginnings. Then we've got justice, which both the wheel of fortune and justice 10 and 11 in the major arcana can both speak to separation, endings of cycles, divorce, because number 13 is Scorpio, which is the death, which is a major metamorphosis. It's like closing up a major chapter in our lives. Then comes temperance, which is saying, be patient. You need to go through, you're going through wisdom. It's like you're uh, needing to mature. What comes after temperance? It is the Capricorn devil, isn't it? Which speaks to maturity. Anyway, you get my drift. So I've got you on that, in that thought that this is how the fool's journey is. So we've got temperance here, which is saying, be patient. There's an alchemy. This person, it's like they're walking on eggshells. They want to offer you this cup, but they need some time. They need to heal. What's going on? They're going through possible separation or divorce. They've got strong Libra in their chart, Libra Scorpio, and they, they have second thoughts. I mean, think of dualistic signs, which Libra is. It's like a back and forth. Libra needs relationship. Sometimes, you know, because in, within Libra, we're talking about the Axis Libra Aries. There's I, me, mine, there's us. Sometimes even Libra can go into the opposite uh, and say, look, if you're not going to, if you're not going to return the love, the, um, if we're not going to be equal, then I'm going to have to look after myself, which is Aries. The same goes for Aries and, and having Libra as opposite. So nothing is set in stone, anything is possible, and anything can happen, my friends. So justice is also a very karmic card. It's not only a card that speaks to illegal divorce, separation, karma, or even dharma, because, of course, we see the scales that are balanced here. We see the sword, which speaks to reckoning which speaks to truth and cutting people away from our lives that did not reciprocate, that were karmic, that have run their course, that have come in to teach us our lessons, so on and so forth, and then leave us. They've served their purpose. You know, South Node is in Libra. Hello, hello. Looks like your person's had maybe also any other legal issues which could be connected to business. Doesn't have to be a legal divorce for all of you. Right. I mean, we've got we've got the family card. We've got the business card here. So this could also be legalities with their own family. If that was a family business, there are so many things that we could talk about here. But let's not waste time. <laughs> let's keep going. Oh my god, I get so so um sidetracked. I would love to do this with you all um, on a more personal level where you could ask questions. You know, I've been talking about doing that on Patreon, like putting another tier and having those astrology talks, those lessons, those, you know, looking at charts and through through looking at 
personal charts, we learn astrology, right? So I'd love to hear from you if you're ever interested in that. It's something that I will do at some point, yes. Let's see where we will be emotionally. What are we not conscious about relative to this love connection, whether it's, I'm going to say first of all you, I'd like to take them separately, dear spirit. So let's look at the people who are here connecting with us here. So I'm looking at you first and then I'm looking at your person. Let's take you. Yes, it's you that's here and watching this reading. I'm talking to you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, commenting and also donating. It does help the channel. Thank you so much for considering joining us on Patreon. A special thank you to our patrons. The inner child. This is your inner child or your children. We've got four. So some of you are not trusting. Some of you uh, may, this could also be, whatever's going on now could be bringing childhood wounds relative to sad times in your life or there's a sense of you want to go out and play you want to have fun but the fall card is like I'm still in you know I'm still in hiding I'm not happy enough to get out there and the answer is no some of you are thinking very negatively at this time some of you have got great worries relative to your children as well um I want to take another card on the answer is no and understanding some of you maybe are looking for you're looking to uh, solve the puzzles let's say uh, maybe you're feeling knocked back or either that or some of you have stopped doing the work yourself and you're just in limbo and waiting let's see where your person is and many of you are seeing signs and synchronicities maybe you're Maybe you're not trusting also in your intuition about the signs that spirit is sending you. Newt, so there hasn't been much commun uh, communication at all or much communication. Your person has pressed the, the mute button. They're feeling empty. They're not telling you what kind of destruction, disaster or huge life changes maybe that they're going through. They may have gone through a shocking uh, experience maybe their life is breaking down wherever they are because it does say mute which says you don't know about this maybe also um maybe your person needed to take some time out and now they're going through an awakening and we've got the pause button which we've got mute and pause my goodness of course it's going to be different for each of you the pause is like the hanging man they could be closing up a major karmic cycle in their life, not wanting to sacrifice where they are anymore. They're wanting to uh, to release, to surrender. They've been badly humbled, uh, stricken. Uh, I don't know what's going on with them, but they haven't had it easy at all. Now, in another, on another dimension, your person has seen something. They're finally seeing things from a different viewpoint but they are needing time as well let's take one more on the pause we've got patience it's like they're asking you to be patient i see pisces i see aquarius i see aries i see scorpio um all the earth signs i see pisces as i said uh capricorn Leo, uh, I think that's it in those cards. Let's see what the general energy is. And we've got an ending, metamorphosis, and Scorpio obviously comes through very strongly. Look, your person, this is the divine masculine. If you're interested in divine masculine, this is your person. Otherwise, this could be your energy if you are a divine masculine. It feels as though you're needing to have that bird's eye view feels like you are very clouded now Neptune has turned retrograde it will either clear you clear the air for you or cloud you even more um and with the clouds this is like taking a taking a flight 
You know, when we, we are on a flight, we can see life or the world beneath, just like from the eyes of a bird. We see the bigger picture. So someone maybe is contemplating or thinking when they're in flight or they're uh, taking a trip and going through a lot of contemplation about some sort of an ending, an ending to the victimhood, to the being tied up, because we've got Pisces very strongly here. Even the mute can speak to Pisces energy because Pisces is the house of quiet, the house of sleep, the house of solitude, settling, fifth dimension, separation and the twin flame and compromise. Look what I get here straight off the bat, your person, and this could be your personal, could be yours, your energy, your person, your person and has been in a, in a connection where they were unhappy, maybe living a solitary life within a family situation, compromising their happiness because of family, so on and so forth. Maybe uh, they've realized that you're their, their twin flame, but they've sacrificed They've sacrificed this twin flame for, it's like having made up their mind that I'm going to sacrifice, I'm going to sacrifice for my child, I'm going to sacrifice um, my heart for my, my child or for this relationship. If, if, because you know that Pisces and the hanging man uh, Pisces is unconditional love. It's like of very much of service. It's like giving everything. Pisces gives everything. So maybe, and what I'm getting is that, um, yes, we've got two cards that speak to the twin flame. Unbelievable here. I feel that your person tried or made the wrong decision in the past tried to sacrifice for whatever reason. We've got the teddy bear here, which does speak to children and father and motherhood. They've sacrificed, but they've seen that there's no, it's like there's no movement here, right? It's like, how much can I give? How much more can I give? How much more can I go against the grain relative to my heart? And that's why I see that there's a metamorphosis here and big changes. And you know what, my friends? I don't think, and I just got the goosebumps, I don't think that uh, that this is going to go on for too long because I get drum rolls and big changes starting from, you know, in within the next, after next week, let's say. And these drum rolls will last up until, I would say, October because soon we will be entering eclipses. September, October, we've got eclipses. November, we're going to exhale and, you know, take a breath of a breath of uh, relief and then sort of bring our blood pressure back down to normal okay so when we've got difficult aspects difficult and challenging um, astrological phenomena and influences we are all affected doesn't matter, you know, whether you've got a different chart. We're all part of the collective, remember. Let's take, let's take another layer. But before we take another layer, I want to have a look at this little oracle here. The, this is the Modiano, by Modiano, sorry. It's, it's called uh, Cartomanzia. Hold on. There it is. La Nuova Cartomanzia by Modiano. And it's very similar to the La Vera Sibilla, but with extra information. I love this deck. Absolutely love it. It's very multi layered. And that's where we use our intuition. Let's see what's going on here. What is going on relative to 
your person, the person you are concentrating on now. Keep those yes please comments coming and we will do a you ask for it video. Some of you said already that you've you've already commented and your comment got lost. This does happen on YouTube unfortunately. It's not something that I could help. Some of you missed out on the opportunity because your comment was not showing up. Maybe check it after a couple of days. Check that your comment is there. And if not, comment again. If I get two same comments from the same person, of course, I will only take one one card. But at least you'll be certain that you will get your, your card. Okay, we've got the dottore, dottore, the doctor, the physician. Change for the worse. Someone feels trapped. And we've got the prison, which could be a self-contained prison. Um, this could speak to illness, surgery, solitude. And then we've got a change of heart for the better. So, yes, we've got, we've got, uh, and you know, the physician could also be someone that's asking for professional help. I feel that this may have got to do with your person um, because it's the it's the king of wands. So we've got a king of fire here. This is how they're uh, coming through energetically. We've got a nine of swords and then a nine of cups. So two nines here. Now, this is a wish card, nine of cups. It speaks to fidelity. It speaks to loyalty. It speaks to friendship because we see a dog here. Nevertheless, this speaks to a change for the better. As long as we're loyal and devoted. Let's, let's, this is like support. This is great support. And this is what the cards are saying. This is the, what the cards are saying. If you've retracted, withdrawn your, your energy and, okay, letting them, uh, giving them time, I would say, um, Wave, wave a white flag and say, look, I'm here for you whenever you need it. This is all you need to say, say, hi, how are you? Don't force a situation, don't do anything like that, but at least let them know that you're there. That's the advice that I'm getting. That's what spirit is telling you, but you're not listening. We've got a bed of love, justice, courtroom, legal documents. This is not your home, but this is like a, this is like a, this is like love. This is very, it's the Four of Cups, but in this deck, it's very different. Emotional stability, summer home, holiday home, a building of enjoyment, whatever this building is. This comes because both parties are giving the, are sort of nurturing and loving and sacrificing, which is, which is a Piscean, Pisces, which could work through karma, right? Living a life of solitude, doesn't matter how much you've worked and how successful you are, at the end of the day, at some point, you're going to feel like you're in prison. No one can take anything, we can't take anything with us and if we don't have someone to share those good times with, it's as though we are, we are very poor. doesn't matter physically, emotionally, financially. That's what life is all about. And we've got an enemy here, which could speak to third parties, obviously. All right. So it is the, uh, it's the Knight of Swords. So some anger, some quick information coming in, uh, jealousy, all these emotions come through with the, this card here. Let's see what's going on. Why does Temperance tell us to wait? We've got the Knight of Cups, remember here, let's, Go quickly because I've got obligations. Why do we have the six of wands and the two of wands here? Wow. I spoke about Uranus, Mars conjoining. You can expect them to start. They're already, they're already happening. They're already connecting and communicating together. We've got two towers so far here. What is this tower about? It's about enthusiasm. It's a messenger that comes in. It's about a trip. 
it's uh, about abundance it's about movement it could be uh, uh, it, this could be a, a message of you know I desire to take this journey with you what is the page at the foundation Queen of Swords page of Swords <sighs> lots of communication lots of thoughts uh, possibly also legalities uh, anything to do with uh, decisions relative to children uh, that are in the picture yes this could be uh, where a dilemma began here from the past and we've got two of swords there there are the two swords so maybe something is coming up relative to the past relative to a breakup to talk of separation divorce whether it's with you whether it's with a past partner take the messages that resonate for you ace of cups the strength card someone being patient someone trusting someone really desiring this or someone needing to have the confidence to make that offer to give that cup that opportunity we've got the knight of wands so we've got the traveler we saw the knight of cups now we see the knight of wands yes yes there is something about movement the pace is getting faster as mars is coming up to uranus you know for earth signs apart from taurus who is um holding for taurus this is where the big changes are going to happen for taurus taurus doesn't want to move taurus can't handle change Taurus is going to be moved by spirit, by tower moments, whether they like it or not. Unfortunately, but we always believe that spirit wants what's best for us. So whether it's through hardship, where it will take you is the, that's the most important thing. Spirit wants something better for you. So is making you uncomfortable, Taurus. Right now for obviously for Virgo and for Capricorn. If you've got planets or points around those uh, 25, 26, 24 degrees of your sign, right? You've got planets, angles, points there. That will be very, uh, very positive for you. Same with the water signs, except for Scorpio. For Scorpio, it will be a little bit more hard. So for Cancer and for Pisces, there is help coming from Taurus let's see what's going on with the nine someone is driven by their desire let's take one more on that knight of wands we've got the king of swords so there's quick action lots of communication lots of cutting through the the clouds king of swords could also be quick legalities we've got king and queen of swords a lot of action towards litigation towards clearing the air towards clarity speaking truths why do we have the nine of pentacles and usually we've got aquarius here we've got sag libra here gemini uh, nine of pentacles ten of pentacles oh my god there is another ten let's look at you ten of pentacles is family support family business it's a an ending and a restart it's the ace of pentacles it's abundance it's manifestation it's support okay some of you have either offered your pentacle and you're in waiting or this has been this will be offered you need to wait for it someone needs time to heal we did see the separation card in the mystic moon oracle right those of you that feel that you are uh, connecting to this very important relationship and you've broken up please know that your person did not take it well either let's take uh, obviously you've been hurt you're at the four of swords or you're waiting on the warrior you're waiting on that in, in that uh, internal warrior uh, of yours some of you may fear also you may Mm. you may be scared that you might get yourself 
or the other person into trouble because the the card after is the five of swords or some of you are in another connection six of pentacles this is what you're waiting on you're waiting on reciprocity some of you are also possibly going through litigation and uh, waiting on a payback waiting on money that you need to pay or money you need to receive whatever whichever message is correct for you you may swap because we do have cross watchers you may swap roles if this is not your position and you think you are watching this for your person then you can look at the reading like that as well what's going on with the environment justice which i said your person could be going through separation divorce but the messages the communication and the movement the action that's being taken is going to bring justice to them and to you oh my god oh my god if this is not huge changes that spirit is saying okay because this is also in your reading there are big changes coming future wise we've got libra taurus very much the venus energy in the sky where is venus now in cancer she's preparing to enter leo she will be entering leo and then she's going to have to she's going to want to take a risk she's going to want to show off her heart what's in her heart she wants to have fun she wants to play these cards are serious cards they're not about play they're about taking things seriously and they also speak to having second choices we see the keys here which to me speak to chiron those open wounds or the resolution we need to find we've got the nine of cups here nine of cups a wish granted surely they could be your person could be freeing themselves from their 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 prison could be their self-made prison doesn't have to be um uh, doesn't have to be a prison an actual prison cell um that that they've been put in for whatever reason possibly dealings with the law maybe even any i don't know could be also violence or any litigation that may have had them uh wind up in prison literally because pisces pisces is the 12th house it does speak to solitude hospitals or prison cells let's see what that two of swords is we've got the page of pentacles and the possible outcome nine of swords another nine so many nines do pay attention to the 9th of july or what does number nine mean for you oh my goodness you see nine is september the month of september as well pay attention we've got eclipses there eclipses happening on the axis virgo pisces we did see a lot of pisces uh, we did see some virgo so uh, relative to what that axis is for you and in your chart that's where the eclipses will be taking place obviously affecting the mutable sign so virgo virgo pisces sagittarius and gemini we saw the three of swords there the heartbreak remember we're not reading reversals so it will be different for each of you lots of worries lots of stress relative to communication uh, action being taken words uh, words communications and perceptions okay there's a lot of worry there's a lot of stress and there's a lot of anxiety if we looked at these cards if these were such as this then this could say that because we've got wonderful cards here this could say that okay there's no more worry you're coming out of worry you're coming out of heartbreak these swords are falling out of your heart you're going to find your bliss and your happiness but for me because we're coming up to difficult aspects not to say that we don't have good aspects we've got great opportunities for this the ten of cups in the upright a lot of romance in the month of july a lot of opportunities beautiful beautiful tower moments auspicious moments of you know i love you you're my wish fulfillment you know those those words that we're all wanting to hear right so 
There will be, towards the end of the month of July, there will be issues, no doubt, but there won't only be negative issues, there'll also be positive ones. So, what's at the bottom here? We've got the Seven of Cups, lots of opportunities, but also a lot of things that are up in the air that could be confusing us. Eight Cups, an offer might come in which can cloud the situation even more, or someone is... Uh, someone is communicating that emotionally they're checking out of a past situation where they could not find their happiness or this could be an emotional um, a communication unexpectedly that emotionally someone's uh, coming in. So covering ground because they're looking for those two of cups which they never found. Maybe you are their two of cups. All right, so what I would like to do now is let's take a couple of island time wellness. Prepare, do prepare your questions. I'm going to take some angel answers in a moment. What is this rival? What's beneath a rival? We've got the uh, the foreign woman, which to me is like the third per the third party, like the high priestess. Connection through social media, electronics for communication, foreigners. I did speak to foreigners before, but this is this is like, um, and it's connected to work. It's the Eight of Pentacles again, which brings up that Virgo energy again. Virgo is of service, or either that or you work together, or someone's looking at the details. There's perfectionism here with the Virgo card. But this speaks to thoughts, mind, communication, and groups. But this is the outsider, the foreign woman, which could be the rival or if you are the foreign woman, there could be some difficult message from an enemy, from a rival that may be arriving, from a rival that may be arriving. <laughs> Let's make a little bit of humor. We need to add a little bit of humor in our lives because times are tough as they are. We don't need to sulk and be more negative. What I say when I'm really down, I say, well, it's a life and it's gonna pass one day. If life is too hard to handle and too difficult and too, too um, hard, all you need to say is, just like in Risky Business, the movie with Tom Cruise, uh, I'm, I'd love to hear, I'm sure you've watched the movie where he's, he's, um, he drove his father's Porsche and he, um, he threw the Porsche, he drove the Porsche right into the, the swimming pool and uh, he cracked the uh, crystal, his mum's uh, ex really expensive crystal and he would, when he, the, uh, when he would get too anxious and too tired, too, too worrisome, he would put on his glasses, light up a cigarette and say, what the, f what the fuck? Excuse the French. So this is what I say. It's, it's a life and it's going to pass. It's going to pass one day. Enjoy the ride. Coffee, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, I love that. Remember what I said about the six of wands and the two of wands, that they, they're looking at each other. It's like a meeting. Yes. Palm tree. I love the palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And mutable signs are very flexible. Make sure at this point we need to be flexible. Those who are fixated are going to be really, um, really, really, pounded and hit hard, struck hard by spirit. We all need to be flexible, just like the palm. And photograph, looking at your photos, missing your nostalgia, make new memories. I love these three cards. For some of you, you're reminiscing. This is like the Six of Cups for me. There is a possibility that, yes, um, you could be connecting with someone from your past, 
Uh, some of you are just reminiscing on past meetings. You're all dreaming and hoping for stability and permanence and security. But there's an opportunity also where this did not happen, where this did not happen for you, making new memories. There's an opportunity to make those new memories because someone is missing you. It's called nostalgia. So we've got a soulmate connection here. Also, some of you may have known this person from a past lifetime, from your childhood, or you trusted each other. You, just like the Six of Cups, think about it. You played, you, uh, you let your hair down, you let loose with this person, nevertheless. And there's passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, and having fun. It's a lottery ticket to get good cards in this deck. It really, really is, which to me is like a thumbs up. I'm really, really happy about this. Reminiscing keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories, the camera. It's got a lot to do with nostalgia and past people, past situations. I want to take one card on. Okay, where is my deck? There it is. One card on the general energy of temperance. What is that? We've got the Four of Cups, missed opportunities, uh, someone not able to accept this cup, they've got issues, and we've got the moon. Possibly the moon, which, remember what I said about a blue moon, we're having a blue moon around the 20th, uh, 21st. Maybe this offer is coming in and you're too busy. Make sure that you're in tune, make sure you trust your dreams, make sure you don't fear accepting this offer. That spirit is bringing in for you. Um, and also what you don't know, uh, what's changing is someone's lack of happiness within their own personal life that they have not shared with you, right? And there's a lot of conflict in their life. So give them, give them a break, give them time. Okay. So let's have a look and three cards, play spirit. This is the little Greek Oracle. This is what you'll be getting in the uh, you've asked for a video that we'll be doing in the next few days. Look out for that. Make sure you're subscribed. You'll be getting one of these cards. If you, you may also be adding their first name, if you like, with a yes, please, who you're looking at, if this is for a relationship. Now, if this is... Um, something to do with the past yes it could be there is there is there are possibilities of coming back together yes there are um there are we've got so many nines wish fulfillments nine of cups nine of cups so many nines nine of pentacles ten of pentacles ten of cups it's like a, a, like a, when you look at the reading it's like coming to an end of a chapter Ends always bring new beginnings. So it'll be very interesting from now until the full moon. That blue moon. That blue moon in Capricorn. We'll see what happens around then. There will be disappointments. Some of you will have trouble sleeping. But you've got the opportunity to manifest. You do. Let's see what's going on relative to general love. We've got the moon again. We've got the emperor. And we've got a lot of desire, passion and a spiritual connection. There's uh, fire and air here. It could be very explosive uh, pertaining to the future. But this is also a lot of things. So a lot of communication, a lot of desire. We've got the emperor here, someone that's either going to support you or try to control you. And look, we've got the divine masculine whether it's a, a guy or a girl, it's a divine masculine, which is all about experience and taking action. But we've also got the f uh, moon here, which could speak to things that are unknown that will be revealed, fears, uh, secrets, deception, so much. So we've got a 2 or 15 and a 29. Do, I don't know, these numbers could be lucky for you, whatever they mean for you. Also, expect things to happen during the night time. 
Yeah, it could be passionate messages coming through. Remember, too much passion can burn and just enough will be enough to be able to create. Um, this could also be like lots of swords, lots of wands. So do take care. It can go either way. We're not reading reversals here either. Let's take your angel answers. And then we'll take some handwritten love cards. And this will be it for today, my dear friends. I've got people waiting. Thank you for, for your appreciation in whichever way you show it. Even, you know, just sharing this video it really does help. Thank you so much for commenting, for liking, for making sure that you're subscribed. Some of you are here and you're not subscribed. What are the answers from spirit relative to the questions asked by our people here? Big happy changes. If you believe in the near future, I don't think I'm going to take any more. Unlikely. That's that they are the doubts. We've got nine of swords and the three of swords. I'm going to say that uh, we need to be more certain, more certain of ourselves and sometimes not underestimate our own value and that we are able to manifest as long as we are doing the right thing um, then we've got the opportunity as spirit always will help spirit always does help put us on the right path there is insane chemistry it is a time of having fun you will have moments where you can have fun uh, meetings friendly meetings which can also end up being more intimate you know what i mean you'll be savoring a moment you'll be feeling uplifted there is promise for stability with these aces here remember let's look at your your person's looking into your person's head or we could be tuning in with your energy as well i will climb any mountain i will swim any river to be with you come to me i've missed you are you happy where you are i always think of you I will wait for you for as long as it takes. Your eyes are familiar to me. I know that we've shed lives before. You were too overbearing. I felt suffocated. Insecurities, jealousy. I'm sorry for not trusting you, but I've been hurt before. Seven of Swords. Win or lose, I'm going to take the chance on love or the casino. See, there is going to be chances taken. Unfortunately, I did not recognize you as my soulmate at first sight, but now I see you truly are. Your person is having a tower moment. The tower is also in the now. Whether it's around the 3rd of July, whenever you view this message, then it's more important for you. I love, love, love you. There's the Nine of Cups. It's come through three times. It's come through three times. So I'd, I'd love an invitation to your wedding. <laughs> You are very attractive. I don't know if I can keep my hands off you. Congratulations for those of you that are having your wish fulfilled at this time. Go girl, go guys. I feel like a fool for leaving you. We've got a few threes here too. And threes, remember, could speak to love triangles, but they can also speak to being at the first important uh, successful position. Um, as something is growing, remember three is also the empress. Let's not forget. I want to read manifest for you. Oops. This is a time of great power for you. The manifest card is here to tell you that anything is possible. You have all the tools at your disposal to create whatever you desire. You have a variety of tools that can be put to good use. The ability to love unconditionally, to support, to cherish, to listen, to understand, to forgive, to be kind, to be joyful and even to be silly. All of these are useful tools in managing affairs of the heart. Remember what I was saying before. Just wave a white flag and tell them I'm here. Uh, 
Take some time to determine what your best tools are so that you can use them to work on your own unique brand of magic around relationships. Before using these tools to manifest your desires, take some time to be clear on exactly what you want. A magician is always focused on his or her intent before working magic. You have the ability to manifest what you desire now, so take a moment so there's total clarity. What do you, you truly need and want? Is it in your highest good? Is it in the highest good of the other person? Will it harm anyone? Manage, uh, magic and manifestation are powerful. When you come from a place of love, you will generate love. Be clear, be honest in your intent and take action to manifest your heart's desire. You have what it takes to achieve this. So you see that it's got a lot to do with you. And if all of you are sitting back and waiting on the other person only, well, happy waiting. It's time that the divine masculine takes the position that she is required to take. And that is leadership. Venus is ahead of Mars. Venus is leading. Mars is following. Okay, so that is me speaking astrologically as well as intuitively and through my experiences and seeing what's going on with people around us because I've seen, I, I deal with a lot of people, right? So that's the general feel of the energies around the 3rd of July, my dear friends. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for commenting, for donating, for connecting with us on Patreon for trusting in a personal reading from Divine Debut. All the links are beneath this video. I'm wishing you well. Looking forward to catching up with you again. Um, and the very soon I'll be in doing the um, free last, last month's June winners that won free tarot readings. Our patron giveaway that we do every month. Um, you should be expecting your free readings very soon, around next week, end of next week, okay? Love and Light, if you have not checked the draw, just in case you've won because you need to, I do notify if I have had no return mail or um, a message through Patreon, then I might just let it go myself. You need to claim your prize. You need to check whether you've been notified, all right? Please do not come back three months later and say, look, I won three months ago. That's way too late, all right? So love and light, my dear friends. Wishing you well and catch up with you next week or maybe even before. We'll see. Do check out DD12. Love you lots.